great day, dear friends. Robert Shepard. Uh, just going to do a quick video about keyword research. A lot of the training I do, a lot of the questions I have when it comes to content writing have to do with keyword research. And so without any further ado, we're just going to get right in to the lesson here. The first thing you want to do when you start doing keyword research is come up with a topic. Now, what are you going to be writing about? You may be writing about something specific to your website or something specific to your business. I, I write a lot about SEO and marketing and real estate. Uh, and so we're going to hone in on real estate, marketing. And uh, one of the things that you want to pay close attention to uh, in real estate is marketing. And this day and age, you want to kind of pay special attention to digital marketing. And so we go to Google, we type in digital marketing. I've already got the search results up. I've looked at several things in here and so I've come up with a list and there are there are several lists in here uh, 10 reasons you need to uh, a digital marketing strategy eight types of digital marketing and I've looked at some other lists I've come up with a couple one of the lists here is uh, digital marketing e-commerce just different types of digital marketing uh, there's another site here that's got eight types of digital marketing and so we're going to hone in, we're going to focus in on this digital marketing, and we're going to specifically use it for writing about real estate. And so just take one of these, for instance, e-commerce marketing. E-commerce marketing, and uh, you want to go to your keyword generator. I like uh, hrefs. They're at hrefs.com forward slash keyword hyphen generator free keyword generator and I recommend that you use a good keyword generator uh, don't use just a generic keyword generator use something that's trusted hrefs is trusted and so we'll come in here and we will type in e-commerce marketing Let's see what this gives us e-commerce marketing all right uh, the good thing about this particular uh, keyword research tool is that it, it kind of color codes everything which is which is really great uh, when it comes to this color code red you know it kind of indicates those that level of keyword difficulty or SEO difficulty you'll see SD on some sites keyword difficulty uh, that is kind of out of the reach for typical uh, websites or typical blogs. These are these are you know really well established, uh, high ranking uh, websites that can use these keywords. And so red means stop. It just means it's off limits for you. And so you go down the list. What I like to try to do is is use keywords with a volume of 500 or more and with a keyword difficulty of maybe 55 or less. And so you go down the list here and you see e-commerce marketing agency, e-commerce marketing strategy. Now that's right there close to uh, where we want to be, 58. It's a little bit high. And so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, kind of look, look on e-commerce marketing services. I like that kind of got a keyword difficulty that's that's uh, that's not unreasonable you got a you know, volume of 800 not a bad uh, search volume monthly search volume and so we'll take e-commerce marketing services e-commerce marketing services now this is a good keyword this is a good keyword and it's a it's not just a one word keyword you want these what they call them as long tail keywords uh, just uh, something more than one or two words this is a long tail keyword. It's a good keyword to write about e-commerce marketing services. And you can use this to generate other keywords. Uh, you could go in and, and, and just search for e-commerce marketing services and, and get even additional keywords from this. Uh, go in here and type this in. It'll find more keywords. And so you can just build on your keywords and keep them moving on. Sometimes you you run into difficulties, and so uh, you just keep going. 
And uh, of course, uh, is sometimes you you get a keyword that's uh, that's just drilled down on to the point where you can't get any more results, and so you'll go back to your list. But uh, e-commerce marketing. And so we've got a good keyword. Again, if we wanted to go back to our list, we'll go to the next keyword and the next and the next. And uh, that's where we can generate our keywords from. Uh, now, if you wanted to drill down more on e-commerce marketing, you could go to a place like Answer the Public and type in e-commerce marketing. And this will give you an idea about what uh, what people are asking about when it comes to e-commerce marketing and so it just kind of goes in and gives you a bunch of different uh, answers for things that are people that people are looking for when they are when they're searching for e-commerce marketing another way to go about this and this gives you some SEO information uh, you can just go in and and type in e-commerce marketing and you know, scroll down just a little bit and you can get keyword ideas from this but you you've got a section here people also ask and so these are some other good keywords what is e-commerce marketing how do I start e-commerce marketing and so you could go back here and and do what is e-commerce marketing see what that looks like and you know the the monthly volumes a little low on this so you probably want to keep drilling down looking uh, but this gives you some ideas about what you may want to ask about how do I start uh, e-commerce marketing and so you go back and type in start e-commerce marketing see what that looks like and again sometimes these things don't pan out And so you may just want to go back and type in another word, e-commerce sales. Sales seems to go hand in hand with marketing. And you can see that there are sales and sell and sales and marketing in the search results. And so you go back to keyword generator here, e-commerce sales. And you got some more uh, this e-commerce sales strategy may be a good keyword uh, it's 400 monthly search volume and right there on that in that uh, that keyword difficulty that is reasonable and so you see how you go about getting these keywords now I, I use uber suggest uh, I like it's a paid tool I like this tool type in e-commerce marketing here and and this will give you some some ideas here about e-commerce marketing as well some uh, some SEO difficulty here on many of the terms here e-commerce is marketing maybe a, a good a good uh, keyword term here I see the the SEO difficulty is 22 uh, search volume of, of 2400 that would be a great keyword to use and so you just keep uh, searching until you generate the keyword that you want to use with your article e-commerce marketing enter this in once again go back I think we decided e-commerce marketing strategy was a good keyword for us and so once we've got our keyword then we can go about getting into the writing and so we'll go to our writing 
uh, program and we've got an AI writer. Many people use these AI writers now and, and so I, I recommend them if you don't have one. Uh, go in here and start a new article. You get to this place and, and just uh, article description, e-commerce marketing. I make it real simple, tone informative, and just really kind of kind of make this as simple as possible. You got an article title here, and this thing just generates some potential titles for you. And we want uh, the we want our keyword to be in this in this little section here. So we want to make sure that we're that we're using our e-commerce marketing strategy in our writer e-commerce marketing strategy unlock the power of e-commerce marketing strategy strategies to turbocharge your e-commerce business competitive guide to e-commerce marketing strategy essential tips for an e-commerce marketing strategy effective e-commerce e-commerce marketing strategy elevate your business with proven e-commerce marketing strategies I like to get a title that actually has the keyword in it because I really want to build this article around the keyword and so I like this this top one I like a sh something short that maybe I can amend even later on uh, add how to to the beginning of it to, to generate more interest and so we're going to use this one unlock the power of e-commerce marketing and so we'll go in here and it starts generating uh, outlines for us and, and it generates three different outlines uh, in Shopia you can go back and forth uh, from one to the next usually I just go in here and grab this first outline I like to look at the other ones and see how long they are I, I really like to to write lengthy articles if possible uh, what is an e-commerce marketing strategy the benefits and so I kinda like this second one because of the length and so we'll go in here and start uh, writing this article using this second outline uh, I like an introduction so we'll add that a conclusion is good and this is just uh, something if you wanted to add your own header and so we'll click this first one delete this blank header out and then we'll just continue to go down the list until we have filled in our outline for our article All right, once you've got all of this filled in, you've got your article completely filled in, and it shows the number of words up here, 2,375 words. I like that. I like a good long article. Uh, just click this Generate Article button here, and it will begin to generate your article. Now, this particular program will allow you to, to import pictures, directly from their database which is really a, a nice feature and so we'll take advantage of that I don't like to use too many pictures maybe three or four on a really long article maybe maybe more but I just typically on an article this size I'll use about uh, three or four pictures and I'll just spread them out uh, I don't use a photo here in the introduction because I like to grab a high quality photo for the introduction and featured image section of the post and so uh, we'll leave that blank and we'll go in here maybe to this first section here what is an e-commerce uh, marketing strategy and then we'll just click this image button here after you click right in here after this first paragraph click this and we'll just add, uh, grab one of these photos that one looks good We'll move down to maybe the middle section here and we'll, we'll uh, come here to this paragraph here right before this main header and add another photo. Uh, maybe this one. Continue on down the article. Maybe right in front of the conclusion for the final photograph. Uh, there we 
go. We've got our three photos in here now. We may could add another one in this section here somewhere. I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll put one more photo right in here. One more. We'll add that photo there. And so we've got four photos in this one, and we'll have an extra for our featured image. And so once you're finished adding your photos, the article is pretty much completed. You want to make sure your introduction and your conclusion are finished up. Then you'll just click File, Copy as HTML. And after you do that, you'll go over to your blog, come to the Post section, Post, Add New. And then you'll come in here to this top section and you'll just copy, paste into this section. And so control V or you can right click and click the paste button. And it's just going to click this, this article right in here for us. Uh, okay. The first thing I like to do when, when I've got everything entered in here is to make sure that our keywords are entered into rank math. And so you'll come over here to this first section of rank math. Click this Rank Math section. Here's the header section, the Rank Math section. We don't really use this Content AI. Uh, you may choose to use that, but I use the Rank Math section and the header section. Header section is already kind of filling in green here, so that's looking good. Uh, but let's copy this e-commerce marketing strategy. This is our keywords. And so we'll grab that and enter that into the focus keyword section there. And now we've got that in and we want to save draft. Always save draft. You're not ready to publish this yet. You don't have your permalink ready. Uh, much of the article's not finished, but you see a lot of the section here is in the green here with the basic SEO, which is, which is great. And so we're on off to a good start with our keywords. All right, once that's finished, I like to just work through my photos and I'll save an image. And I save this to my computer because I want to permanently attach these images to my article. And so I save these to my computer one by one and come back and attach them permanently. Now, right now they're attached as HTML or linked images and linked images can be broken uh, if something happens to the image or the image link or the HTML the image is broken and so you have that problem with your article and I just uh, prefer to link all of the articles permanently and so I'll come in here and save all these to my computer saving this image as well saving everything to the computer Save this last image, and that's got all of the images saved. Now I will start looking for a, a high-quality featured image. Now to do that, I usually go to pixels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com, and I just take part of the keyword a lot of times and just copy and paste in and do a search there. And I'm looking for a good uh, horizontal uh, shaped picture. And I really like a, a nice attractive picture for the, the main featured image. And so I, I usually go down here. I don't just pick the first one or two. I'm scrolling down looking for that, that perfect image for the featured image. Uh, that's a nice image, uh, and I think I'll just grab that and use it. There's nothing wrong with that. And so for the purposes of this article, we will just grab that image, and you see it just begins to download immediately once you click download, and then I just usually just grab that and drag it from my downloads to the folder that I'm going to be using. Uh, so I 
I don't really like the folder that I downloaded that to and so I will drag it to the folder I like and we will close that out. Now all of our pictures are saved into the same folder so it really makes it easy. We'll go back to our blog now and we'll grab those those keywords again now that we've got our featured image or our high quality image saved to our computer and we'll just go in here and make a space. Just click enter and you see it made a space. Click this plus and you want to click the image button and so we'll start uploading images. Now I don't click the upload button. I go to my media library and then I click upload files and then select files and it will give you an option to select files that are on your computer and so we choose the the file where we have saved our images we go in here and highlight all of the images that we've saved and click open now we've already saved our keywords to our uh, clipboard and so we're ready to start pasting in to the the uh, the text boxes here. We want to make sure that we've got our keywords entered in for each photo and so as these start as these start uh, showing up here we start entering these in. I do the alt text, the title and description and I skip the caption. I don't really like dealing with the caption. Now you may want to enter something in the caption, a description of the photo, and that's completely up to you, but for time saving purposes, we will just enter these in like this, and then we'll go back to that featured image and select that, because that's what I want there for this first section right here at the top of the article. We want this nice, clear, high quality featured image. At the same time, I'll come over here and uh, click this settings wheel, click the post button, and just scroll down to where it says set featured image. Now for the featured image I use that same high quality image that we grabbed from pixels and we'll just set featured image. Now we've got our featured image set. And then for this second image what we do is we just replace the linked images or the HTML images with permanent images. Now we've got these images saved into our media database, we can just go in and replace them with the permanent images. And so we've got this picture here we want to replace, and I believe that is this image here. I like to resize these down to right there past the caption section. We'll replace this one. that second image, resize that down to the add caption area, we'll replace this image here, and just click select, size that down, and we'll go to our last image, and we'll replace that. Once you've got that last image done, you can go into dealing with the SEO section of the article. And so you'll click on Rank Math. Click on Rank Math and then you'll just begin to go down through these sections and deal with the problems. Now the first section looks all good. It's all in the green. Uh, we may want to deal with this edit snippet section first and so let's go in here and see what we're dealing with. The permalink is in the green so we may just leave that like it is. Sometimes we'll shorten that, maybe just take that part out and, uh, and delete that and kind of make the permalink shorter but uh, I think I think we'll leave this like it is. It's in the green. Everything looks all right. Now you need a, a description here for your meta. And for the description, if you X out of this, it saves it so you don't have to worry about coming back in later on. 
if you'll go back up to the top section of the article, a lot of times there's a section that says in this article. Here it is here, in this article. And it basically just kind of tells what the article is about. Basically, I will grab that and just paste it into this section. Now, sometimes you have to edit it and make it shorter or do some work to it, but uh, this has got our keywords in it. It is uh, in the green. It's under the limit here. Everything looks good there, so I'm just going to leave that like that. That, uh, that came together pretty well, and so we've got our meta section taken care of. Now we'll go down in here uh, and deal with these additional settings. Additional. Uh, four errors there. Link out to external resources. Okay, I like to link out to uh, my social media sites. But now if you wanted to go the extra mile and link out to some additional sources, that's good for your article SEO. Uh, but to do that, now it requires a little additional work, but to link out to my social media uh, sources, uh, I just go to another article that I've already done this with, and I will just grab this text area. I don't grab the image because it, it uh, seems to cause problems with the copy and paste, so I just grab that text section, uh, go down here to the bottom of the page, and copy those links into, into the bottom section here. Got those entered in. I will go in here and add my logo at the bottom. I like to just do a little extra. You know, it might not make much difference to a lot of folks, but you know, I like to go the little bit of extra mile, and so we'll grab that logo. I like to size that down to about where the bold text is there. And then uh, here under this is where you would go in and link some additional uh, resources. And you could just title that additional reading, colon, and go under there and just maybe go to this search engine section here and grab some some articles that are that are similar to what this article is about that may have some additional information that is helpful. Another thing you could do is maybe go in some of these articles and pull out a graph or a chart or something uh, and link back to that article that that would be helpful to your article. Now we're not going to do that right now. We're just kind of we're just giving a basic overall uh, run through of how to do keyword research, build an article, and post it up. But uh, you could you could go the extra mile and do that work. It would certainly help uh, the SEO and help the uh, the readers to gain more information, gain more knowledge. And so, uh, after we posted our links at the bottom, you'll notice that uh, the additional errors cleared up, and so. The only thing here left is the uh, use uh, content AI. I don't use that. If you use it, I mean, that's that's great. I just, I don't really use it. So uh, the title doesn't contain a positive or negative sentiment. We're down here in the title readability section now. And then your SEO title doesn't contain a number. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll enter numbers in. Sometimes I'll enter these these positive or negative sentiments. Sometimes I'll change the title to to, uh, to ask a question, and we may look at that uh, in this last section, content readability. One of the paragraphs is too long. I'll go back and look at shortening long paragraphs. I usually just go and do that when, when something like this comes up. Uh, we'll just kind of see a long paragraph, and we'll go in and begin to divide these up until we see that clear up. Uh, several long paragraphs here, so a number of them you want to look at dividing up. Just go in here and divide these up until you get the results that you're looking for. Wow, big long paragraph here at the end. 
and I think that's probably going to do it. Yeah, I see we've got that error is cleared up, so our content readability is all good. And so now all we have are the content AI and a couple of title issues, and our header is at 70. It's in the green. That's good. We could leave it just like that. No problem. If we click our edit snippet button, we see that we're under the limit here. That's that's really good. If we added some to it, we kind of go over the limit there. And so I'm not sure that I'm going to I'm going to edit that at all. It, it's it's just right there. We want we want a, a good short title if possible. And this title works. Unlock the power of e-commerce marketing strategy. Uh, if we were making this about real estate, we would use the we would we would come in here and enter real estate in, uh, and perhaps even change the title when we were writing here at uh, at this level. We would go in and and make the title about real estate so that we might have some real estate keywords in our article. But this one is is completed without real estate, and so we're going to leave it just like it is. Uh, if you're if you're going to write about real estate, you really want to go back to this area, and even back to the very beginning when you're when you're entering in keywords and you're entering in your your article description and keywords. You want to enter in real estate into the keywords and real estate into the article description, and then even when you get to the title, you want real estate in the title, and so you want the article really to be built around real estate and e-commerce marketing strategies and so then you could get a, a list of titles with e-commerce marketing strategy and real estate in the title but we didn't do that so we'll finish out this article where we are at everything looks good I don't see any problems the photos are permanently attached I like the way the article has come together uh, and so we will we will conclude this and move on to the next. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad we had the opportunity to learn together. I hope that you found this content positive and helpful and maybe you gained something from it. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, always uh, thankful uh, if you hit that like button and subscribe.